All right, we are back with more Mega Man Maker. Uh, today we will be playing through Breakman's Adventure to Save a City from Nature, created by Kung Fu Kung Fu Cutsman. Uh, Foreign place and a score of positive two. And as you can see, I played through this level. Um, yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I made another recording freaking error. Like, I I have been playing Rocket League, you know, recently, and <laughs> I have been recording snippets of that. Uh, <laughs> you know, and so <clears throat> in the edit, in the video capturing uh, device, I had you know some different settings, so it it did actually not record Mega Man Maker properly, so it was just a black screen the whole freaking playthrough, and uh, that's a, it's such a damn shame. Uh, but yeah, basically what I did, um, I, I took I took all the paths. Uh, I started with the snake search, and I went to the right. I went here. And yeah, now it's not gonna be as cool because now we're not gonna have, to, going to have my initial reaction. And you know, the boss fight with Planet Man was hilarious too. He broke out of the cage, and now I don't have that on. Now I don't have that recorded, so I'm all <laughs> depressed about that. But yeah, here is where we went down, or where I went down on my first playthrough. Yeah, through the sewers, and there are some really cool enemy placements down here. And I don't. Yeah, okay, nah, I never tried going in there, uh, but yeah, you can. <laughs> but yeah, here, look at this. This is awesome. Like, having the fish dropping down from the manhole, uh, yeah, or whatever those pitfalls are. I guess they are supposed to be manholes. Uh, you know, nature is taking over your city, and yeah, it's just. <laughs> it's crazy. Everything is gone to shit. Ah! Dang it. I'm taking damage up the wazoo. But yeah, I'm really sorry, man. I'm so I'm actually a little bit pissed about it uh, that I botched the whole freaking recording of this. It was just uh, so annoying. But yeah, we're playing through it again here. It was a very enjoyable stage, you know, playing through it blind. I have to say, it was a lot of fun. And yeah, on my first playthrough, I just you know did this against this boss uh, since it is very scary to jump here. If those uh, crash lifts press up against the roof, you know, you will go down through on the spikes, so yeah, gotta be very careful. Ooh. <laughs> Those Gabby walls, I believe they are called. Dangerous fish. And here we have Toad Man, if I recall correctly, with the snake. Snake heads. My blind playthrough, it took me about four minutes, I remember, to get all the way up here. Well, yeah, it is rather dangerous to. Oops, I thought it would jump there, so that's why I slid right into it. But yeah, it is rather difficult to charge up fully and shoot uh, Toadman, but it does speed up the process, so yeah, I like to go for it. <laughs> but yeah, as you saw there, we had some really neat usage of the fish. I really liked uh, like to see it. And what the heck? Why is my output not counting? Apparently. <laughs> Apparently, I have no say in the matter. <laughs> okay. Nyum, 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 nyum. Now, I believe I took Blizzard on my second attempt here. And then I went to the left. Let's just do everything the same way here. <laughs> and I noticed that the Blizzard was quite effective against those serpent flies. So if you just keep shooting, you know, <laughs> you, you will take him out. Uh, let's see here, and then we went, uh, I don't remember where we went up here, it forks up ahead, it forks again, um, I believe I went down here, yeah, I believe, I'm pretty sure I went down here, you cannot go down here, I don't think if you have the snake uh, weapon or the air shooter, I don't think you can actually destroy that, um, the cockroach nest, uh, if you have either of those weapons, uh, I believe you actually need a blizzard. Mm. Yeah, the water spout doesn't work either. Uh, uh, water wave, search snake, and the air shooter. I believe all of them doesn't work, so I just like kind of lucked out that I saw that <laughs> when I had the ice weapon. Hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And I don't remember if this is the path. And yeah, look at that. Since it's required. Yeah, I did not realize that actually in my blind playthrough. And um, since. Uh, since this guy is here, and you know, you actually need a blizzard, uh, I'm pretty sure to get here. Uh, that's probably why he's there, so that you can, you know, take him out, you know, using the blizzard weapon. Dang, I <laughs> tried to shield that. And I think we had Shade Man on this path. I believe we had Shade Man anyway. Shade man in a s sandy room. Oh yeah, and this fight. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, this guy wrecked me on my first playthrough. <laughs> I did not die at him, but yeah, he took like half my health. And yeah, he <laughs> he kind of hurt me badly there as well. Yeah, the Blizzard actually works really well on these totem pole guys, you know, since it's kind of like a shotgun of sorts. Nice block. That'd be nice. It does take a little bit of time to traverse this area. This is probably the longest one, you know, time consumption wise, I guess you could say. Yeah, these guys are really hard to dodge. But yeah, since we have the <clears throat> since we have the ice attack, I'm just going to abuse the heck out of it. <laughs> and I believe, yep, I believe we are up against the boss now here. <clears throat> and yeah, I'm going to reset here because I want full full blizzard. Um, it speeds up the battle uh, tremendously. It only takes one damage from it either way, but yeah, I'd rather just uh, take him out quicker rather than later because Shade Man is a very time consuming match, you know, since he flies around quite a bit. Dang! And yeah, he sucks your health. Jeez. Oh yeah, that was very dangerous. Okay. Okay, nice. Dang it. Ah, oh, dang, I jumped too early. Uh, you need to stay calm and, you know, react after he's done the jump, otherwise he will aim at you while you're in midair. As so, as such, I guess you should say. <laughs> I should say. Okay, well, you should have him now. Unless I, like, get stoned here. <laughs> Let's say it's the yeah. Take that however you like, <laughs> or yeah, <laughs> whatever. All right, well, we beat we beat Shade Man, and my upvote still isn't counting. That's nice to see. I'll just cut out the waiting here, the loading. All right, the loading is done, and I remember on my third playthrough I went with the air shooter. And I believe he took the left path here again, and I went up instead of down. Yep. Oh yeah, and I haven't pointed out, like, all these uh, things here are supposed to be cars, I feel like. <laughs> yeah. Cars and trucks and whatnot, what have you. And you know, just for... Experimenting. Okay, well you actually can go down there. What the heck? All right. Well, I'll just I'll just cut back. <laughs> See you in a sec. All right, back here. So yeah, it turns out you actually can go down there. Oh jeez, <laughs> you actually can go down there with the air shooter. <laughs> I thought, you know, since it fires up, that it would not be able to hit that. But yeah, apparently it can. Apparently it can. And yeah, this is the hardest path. Holy moly. Yeah. This is the hardest path, hands down, because we will have some really tricky arms up ahead. Some really tricky arms. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it might not look all that bad yet, but believe me, 
Like there is some serious difficulty ramping here in this section. Like first we have you know just regular falling you know and you will survive and then you know spikes are coming in everywhere and then spikes on top of the crash lifts and yeah it gets it gets snotty. <laughs> On my first playthrough, I actually did not die once here. I had a couple, I had a couple close calls, but oh, yeah. Now since I'm playing this my second time, you know, I feel like I'll start failing and probably <laughs> I might just, I might just die this time instead. You know that I have already played through it. It will be very, very much like me. Thankfully, we have pretty good checkpoint placement uh, placement in this stage. So yeah, I'm not. Too worried. And we still haven't come to the most difficult parts. This is actually kind of cool. This guy kind of, you know, skates back and forth and forth! Ah! And if you time it correctly, you should be able to do this without taking damage. There you go. And this guy will jump up here if I remember correctly. Yep. Phew. Oh yeah. Now we have this. This ass wipe. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going. Oh yeah, this is the tricky part. Oh, since like you start going left and right like randomly, so it's you cannot really estimate how you will go once you land in between here. So you just gotta jump right away. You know, don't dawd, don't sit around, don't fuck around. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just stop it this way. Um, oh yeah, and here's Plantman. He broke out. He broke out on my on my initial playthrough. <laughs> Maybe we'll do so again. It wouldn't surprise me. He broke out of um, Kung Fu Cutsman other stage as well in the Skloof Corporation. <laughs> but yeah, I'm having a pretty good fight here so far. I might not take a single hit here. Yep, very nice. <laughs> Okay, so he 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 behaved properly this time around, so that's nice. That's nice to see. <laughs> and you know, I'll I'll go I go out in the kitchen, I'll check on my food, and then I'll cut back and start off the stage for the fourth and final section. So yeah, see you in a bit. All right, back again for the fourth and final path. Uh, yeah, so now we have discovered all the paths there on the left. Now we just have this one path left. <laughs> left on the right side. Yep, yep. What? <laughs> I shielded the freaking bomb. <laughs> oh yeah, and in here, it looks like there are like yet another splitting path in here, but that is not the case. That is a fake door, if you can call it that. <laughs> a fake door. And yeah, I remember there were some shenanigans <clears throat> with the. With the cockroach nests up here, and the water weapon is actually very nice. Every since it cannot hurt the uh, cockroach nest, it is very valuable to have, and you'll see why here in a sec when we're climbing up here a few a few floors. But yeah, I feel like this is probably the easiest path. I feel like it has some uh, tricky mini bosses up here with the octopi. But yeah, nothing too bad, nothing I can't handle, and this looks very... Yeah, this, this is a very Mega Man classic. <laughs> it has a very classic Mega Man feel, uh, look to it. Yeah, like, as long as we just sit here <clears throat> and dodge the missiles, we should not have mm, too many issues. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know why they not picked up that health. But yeah, here, like, this here is what I was talking about. You can just very easily kill the cockroach <clears throat> and you know without destroying its home so that you can jump up and climb up here. So yeah, it's a very appropriate weapon um, to have with us here. So let's just that. Yeah, see. Very nice. Uh, same <clears throat> same deal here, you know, just snipe this guy from a distance. Oh shoot! I tried to shield it, but <clears throat> I panicked and failed. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Get out. Get out of that room. And yeah, we're already done with this section. So yeah, as you can see, this is probably the easiest one. Um, yeah, probably the easiest uh, one. 
Hip. And you can kill the crow by doing that. Very nice. And hey, uh, uh, what the heck? Oh, shoot, man. Dang it. Ah, oh, man. I took like only one hit on my first playthrough here. Holy smokes. And now I'm almost dying. Okay, seriously, now do that. Do that. Shoot. It's very easy. Do that. Do okay, well, he's dead. <laughs> okay, well. Very cool stage overall. Um, uh, Visual-wise, I feel like this, you know, the easiest path looks the coolest, you know, with the very nice brown uh, tones. Uh, it looks very nice. The sewer, uh, the sewer I really like as well, mainly because of the enemy placement, you know, with the fish dropping down from the manholes. Uh, the underground section were looking nice with the sand and, you know, it just had a bunch of nice uh, sceneries. Uh, oh yeah, and the crash lift uh, section, you know, with the spikes. It's a little bit scary, <laughs> but it was quite cool how the, you know, little seashell guys, you know, kind of slid left and right there. And so, you know, you have to kind of time when you're jumping down to shoot them. So, yeah, pretty cool. It's a shame I couldn't keep my first recording because I felt like it was, you know, it had more funny moments. And now I'm, you know, a little bit more monotone, monotone <laughs> in my voice, you know, because I've already played the whole thing. So, yeah, it's a freaking shame. But, yeah, I'm sorry, I'll try and try and not fudge it up in the future <laughs> uh, but yeah occasionally I do it because I'm not checking my recording software before I actually start playing you know it's a bad habit always check the software before you press play and I did not do it and yeah that's what happens and can the game Urgh. record that now say that say say that plus one <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, let's just leave it at that. Uh, thank you guys for watching and have a nice day.